Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Silver Spoon and Paintbrush. Welcome to the second game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Now we're ready to do this next matchup. We've got a great ones to take over in between, but this time, the Bruins are at Washington to play against the Capitals. And they're ready to see what they can do if they can get this one goal in. Now for the next commentary I will have, on the other side to start things up, it's all for everyone. You may have expected that what they did, but there's one thing that can handle it all. Light bulb. He's our across right now, and he's with the other one. As we take things a look on the other side of it, we have a new one that we'll be placing in there very soon, but you'll find out for soon enough. It's Cool Beast. And for the third commentary, it's all the ball point pan. And for the center ice, it's Pan. We'll be ready to get the same back on the way here to have it all started for the post-game show. And this one will be after the third period is over. Now it's that time, Bruins with a 2-0 lead series over the Capitals. Let's see if the Capitals can get that one back and find out if they can. We'll see you all later, folks. Now enjoy the game. What's up, everyone? It's Lightbulb, and we are at Capital One Arena. The lights of this matchup is Game 3, only air on Sun of Beast. Along with me, Fan, and of course, you all know for it's one of our great of the legendary to bring us here. It's all for you wishing. Let's get this thing started, and here we go. Starting goal players in the matchup is in between of of, um, of Swayman and Lindgren. And starting things off here for Pasternak is locked out here, and setting now saying Dean has that clock now, finding a bank game or a me and Fan are having a lot of it in the commentation, and right at the moment, we got another one taking you down on the other side of it, as we've got all you called for. It's one of our biggest. And this time, it's what you have always expected to see what goes in. It's Cool Beast. And finally, we I have a set on ice here. I'll get you guys up there shortly after this. Pops not lost that puck here. McAvoy. Chicks and saved by Lindgren. Start things up here for the run for the Washington Capitals. You know, it's always easier enough right now because there's a lot of great chances out there. They're really doing like a lot of hard job on that one. They're like just showing them how it is. They can get that one going. Shot saved here by, by Lindgren. That fires a shot. What a big, fantastic save by Lindgren. Pulls on with the puck. Oh, this one's really like a great one to take over at. Now, you never know what happened already because there's a lot of great saves. You gotta make sure you just make that one to keep an eye on that one here. Now to take care of the race shot and the save puts in by Lindgren. The army net is the Brooks. The Brooks now finding again the Lorraine. The Lorraine now has the Vermeer. It's been a shot and it's made that with another big save as Edmondson will have it. Battling along with the puck of the chain. Full pressure's off for the, for the Boston Bruins as they kick the puck out of here. And now Edmondson with the puck. Here's an overtake take to Butcher Reddy. He lost that puck here and now it goes back the other way to Vemayas. Vemayas running the attacking, looking for more. Tacky inbound and a save puts in by Lindgren. Carlos shot. What a stop here by Lindgren. Oh, that was going like, to be a hard one to take, but it's not going to be easy when you take a lot of it. Still a lot of time left in this period. Capitals and Bruins in game three. No score in a game just yet. Alexeyev went down. Now here comes Zaka. Zaka right towards the right center of the wing. Shane Kirk shot. Clubbed and safe here again. Here's my Myers. We'll have that over on the other side. Now tries to make his way down into the toward the left of the territory. Shane Kirk. Trying to make his way down here. Looking for an for open gap here. Ben Myers with the puck. Easy takeover back to Alexia. Now finding over again to Manfa. Manfa taking his own time. Now Ben Myers will have that puck. 
He went down after it. Here's another take here for Alexi Avi. He'll have the puck here. Now he's in the middle. Shot! That went way wide up the mark. It's not what always happens already because they really do not want that one to get right back into it at all costs here. And that save puts in by Lindgren. That's what ever happens here. You can't let that one get off the mark and you know it's not really always what you wanted to if you shoot it right. The fans are growing loud here for the Bruins. But Wilson looking for a shot and save puts in for Swayman. Now that's what happens with Swayman. It's really going to be a hard one to take over this. And I know that will be a hard one to take, but you may never know what comes in now. Here's Ovechkin. LaPierre's on that one. McAvoy has it back again. Marchand for a team for you to go. Coyle with the bucket right in toward the right, right of the wing. Takes a whack of the hit. That's a nice shot. Put a rebound in for Coyle, and this one has stepped out. They really are working on the battle range right now. They will never try to like let him communicate out there ever again. Because they can't let that one go right by him. And then the passing over is like way too hard. You gotta make sure you are up to the top of the set. Swayman takes the save. Now that's what happens now, because Swayman is really like trying to keep that one over at the same time. They really gotta make sure if you get there. Sandy now finds with Michael and Carlson, but we're now again trying to pass the Protoss. Protoss now finds McMichaels. 12 minutes remaining in the first period. Now Carlson will have it over. The offense trying to pick up their save. Very meant for shot. Saved here by Swayman. McMichael battling for the loose puck. He grabs it now. Battling it again. Here's Mampa right over toward the net. Heard a shot and a big save here by Swayman. Now Swayman never really got that one out there. You know, Omar would have been helpful and taken over it from here. It's not what they always were to come in already because they were really like getting that one at a certain time. This angle can't let that one happen to be spooled off. Lindgren's going to hold on with the puck of volume coming down to a midway mark of the period. Still a lot of time left in this frame. No score at a game in the third. Now Boston wins the faceoff. Lorraine shot, and this one has been tipped off too soon. And then battling for the loose puck. Now to take for Edmondson. Edmondson trying to battle it in here in between. Trying to go over to Milano. That one's rejected off and it now goes back to Milano. Here's a take for Jensen. Enough to show. Block the shot. This one stayed out. Lorraine keeps it over. Ten minutes has passed by here for the mid midway mark of the period. Geeky. Trying to look over. Looks it up. Pat saved here by Lindgren. Washington Capitals are trying to look for the answer back in between. Now for Toretti. Makes his way down and he went down. Down on the slam near the board as Bovis will have it again to Larko. Larko to Lorraine. Here's Lorraine. He comes in. Gives the Perezzo shot. What a save here put in for Lindgren. Now what's not going to happen, that needs to keep out here for sure. Past the midway mark, nearing down the period. As this game continues, he finds Van Myers. Zaka got that puck. Lapierre will have that one right around. Battling for a puck of the chain. Rebounded by Van Myers, can now find again to Alexia. Alexia tried to give over to get Ovechkin. Ovechkin tried to look his way off to LaPierre. Takes a shot! What a save here by Swayman. You know, an easier way does this, because that is a lot of a hard range in sight. You may never want to get this one over on your side, because if something happens to it, you know it's going to be like a hard one to take. And Wilson finds Alexia's shot! This one stopped again! LaPierre knocked it down as the Caps are in the full zone. Pressure ahead, Ovechkin, and it's broken up with the pass. Zaka right up again to DeBrusque, and the blade penalty has been called on Capitals. Oh boy, I don't think I wouldn't like that one anyway, because that one's going to take a stop for the interference. I mean, this is not pretty good for our team. That was going to be their first penalty, not great enough. Yeah, it's pretty uh, hard to say now, and you can't let that one interference you. You do not take over that, and that's what you do 
You've got to stop what you're going for. Here's the take right now. You have fans standing by. David Pashnok says, one of his sniper of his own ability, he can take it over for one of the in-between. He's looking for a power play to get there through. Alex Ovechkin has his white team motion. His slam out attack is a lot of a hard one to take right in between of the zones. But he might be looking for it if he can take this one for a one-time zone to make that shot. I have a lot of this too, and I'll be watching which one goes in. But there's another take off in between. Back to you. After a safe put here by Bradley Lindgren, it is still no goal in the game. Bruins wins the faceoff. Shot! Stop here by Lindgren. Edmondson will fire the puck out of here. Boston back in the offense, now find Marshall. He gives it again to Geeky. Geeky off to Dubras. Dubras making his way down, shoots it, and blocker stop made here by Lindgren. Here's a take to Pashanats. This one's knocked out. Fires it up and around the net. Around the player. And it goes back in the airway to the Boston Bruins. And now we'll have it over again. The deep pass to Marshan. Here's a take shot. And that's stepped away here by Lindgren. Awesome effort out there. It's going to be very hard if he's going to try to like get that one out of here if he can. Mount Stein tipped it out. Losing for the puck possession, and this one carries out. Looks like he's almost out there ready to go. And we'll dump it out of the Ode. Power plays over for the Boston Bruins. At 0-1 for the Boston Bruins as they didn't get the scores in there. While they're very good, even mature enough, then that's what they always done. The better than to think it in this offense. It's not always what you really want. But this offense needs to get this one a lot of timing straight away. If you're playing for defense, you got to make sure you're all prepared because there are a lot of attackers that can try to take, take you down, for sure. Here's the Brust, fighting inside a rebound with a shot, stopped here by Lindgren. Edmondson battling along for the boards. Pitcher ready with the puck. 3.15 left to go in the first period. Try to look his way down. Pass past a strong shot. Saved here by Swayman. Now Milano. Here's a shot for inside. Oh, Swayman had that one coming in down. Post call in between. Now they're off in it right now. You're in the full pressure of the zone. Capitals try to get the goal in here. And they're on the board. Wilson. Off to Alexia. Shot. Take the rebound. This one's stopped by Swayman. Oh, he was really that close already. And I, and I couldn't say that this was really like hard to get there through, but gotta make sure you get that one here right time fast. Capitals win again. Fires the shot, goes wide. Now he finds it already getting by my issue. Now we'll have to give it over again to Alexiev. Here's an overtake here. Rebound the puck, taking shot, and we'll pat it out of here as Grizzlick will have that puck in with two minutes to go in the first period. Here's another take, Locko, right in toward it, oh, that was a takedown slammer hit. That might have had enough of him. Now it's back to Brazil. Brazil fires the puck, that one's lifted out of here and it's back to by the board. Alexia kicks it over now to Lapierre. The Capitals are back in the offense. One more minute to go in the first period, now finding Ovechkin. Ovechkin to shoot! Trying to be the in the puck. Fires a shot, and saved here by Swayman. That was really hard. Now you're really expecting, because it doesn't happen to be most of them. They didn't even get that one a lot paid off. Tom Wilson just got that one trying to get deflected, but that skate is a lot harder to take. May not be knowing what's going on. So this time, it's still a no goal in the game, we're under a minute. Another win here for the Boston Bruins with only 40 seconds left to remain in, in the first period. In game three, the Brutz can hold on with the puck. Under 30 seconds now, finding Strong. Strong to Milano. Here's Milano on his way down. With the fast breaker in between, Strong shot, blocked the shot nearby Loray. 
Back to DeBrusque. Here's a take. But managed to get a goal? No. That one's right toward the board, and that ends the first period. Great connection between the goaltender's reaction of Swayman and Lindgren. We'll get you eyes on the second period right after this. Time now for the second period of the puck drop. And we are off to go. No goals of the game. Let's find out if there's a choice to get in between. A great battle and start for the goaltenders between the, those two as I take it over to you guys. Well, they're really well and professionally, and they've been really been working it off like they've done it before. You know, the hard pressure doesn't even take all this chance because of that one. They've really been going with a lot of saves in between. Yeah, I got a great agreement out there because they've really been looking over it. They've been like keeping an eye crushing down. But in that case, you may never know as it's going to pop up. Wow, oh, looks like that the slashing is called on Bastionox. Looks like your first penalty kills on Boston. Now here's a look here for John Carlson. John Carlson has a one of his clap zone, thunder clapping range in between. For the start of the second period, he might be finding his way if he can try to like keep it out of the zone. It may not be what he's looking for, but we'll see what he does if he gets that power play in motion. Back to you. Pitcher ready, we'll have it into the wing. Cutting him out and trying to go with the admin in between. No penalty called on, on the Boston Bruins. While the power play continues, here's Protos. Protos right toward in the center as Carlos takes that puck away. Fires it out. Now here's Ovechkin, he will give off to McMichael and back to Carlson. Carlson making his way inside. Fires the shot and safe puts up by Swayman. We'll deep it out. Ovechkin has it over to get a McMichael. Here's Petrareni. It's the ready to protest on a shot, and it's Wilberspoon with the rebound. Lifts it up in the air, and they will now try to attempt to clear it out. Here's our Vetchkin, who now has it again to Carlson. Carlson making his way down, right wing to the right wing. Looking through, shoots, save here by Swayman. That was all going to be happening right now. They were really good at keeping it out of the sign, because there's no way to can stop him now. They were really been picking it off like they did before. Frederick's got the puck, and now finding Zaka over on the other side. Here's another take here for the, for the Bruins. Taking short-handed, saved here by Lindgren. Milano has it again to Melenstein, and now find Manfa. That ends the power play here for the Capitals, now they're a full strength. You know, easy can't let that score, because if you take a lot of your, your repetition to go right in between, it's not going to be easy when you take a lot of time to shoot it in. Brian Marshan has a no contest to take the ability right in between. It's not what he all does for it, but the all game is worthless when you play for the no contest in the world. It's like no competition that can't let that one happen in between, and they don't have that one right in, right in between of the zones to make the offensive tackers on each angle. I'll find out if Brad Marshan has that one to try to stop one inbound. Oh, here comes Milano. He's going to take the fast break. Shoot in. Good stop here by Swayman. That was a close one. That was not going to be easy, that point. You can't let that one be scored in there if they can get there. Now here's a call for Charlie McAvoy. Charlie McAvoy has a slick about ability that he is playing for a lot of hard on defense. When he gets to his attacking range, he can take the puck away from him, make some stick lift. That's why he calls it stick him up. He will try to see what he can do if he makes that one to stop the play ball and bound. Here's a take to McAvoy. With under 15 minutes remaining in the second period, now he's in the corner of the box. Now the rebound puts in. Here's Lapierre. Give off to Milano. Milano shoots! Saved here by Swayman. Edmondson. Jensen shot! It's often denied on that shot. Coyle. Back the air away. Give to McAvoy. McAvoy now finds Brazier. Brazier to Locko. Locko trying to look out over it again with the two on one opportunity. Edmondson with the puck now finding again to Mount Stein. Lot attacker brutal gear for the Bruins. 
Avi Kubo with the puck. Spins it over. That's blocked the shot. Now the rebound puts in. Jensen. Shot. Almost went in there, but Spayman has kept it up. This is really what the easy does. And they can't let that one happen to get right from here if you know how to shoot one in. We haven't hit the midway mark of the period yet. It's still a no score of the game. Now the win puts in for the Bruins as Wolverspoon will have it. Kicking the puck in right in between. Bobas finds again to Grayskin. And Loco. On the one-on-one -on -one attacker. And a big stop here by the goaltender. Here's the save. Barzu can't get the puck back into it. Tries to leave it out as Loco has to get a Barzu shot. What a big save here by Lindgren. Lindgren is like keeping it in sight out there. You're never going to get that one fell down if you're going to make that one appreciated more than you have. Because that is a lot of hard one to take. No one wants to take the credit for it if you get this one, you're finished. Bruins wins the faceoff. A great stop here by the defender. This one's another save here by Lindgren. Bruins are on the full pressure. Shane Kerr. Will we shot? This one can't get it right by him. McMichael wants to take his puck out and clear it out. And now he clears it out. Shane Kerr with the puck. Now on towards his right wing, we will fire it out. Here's the save to Alexiev. Alexiev tried to like that handle the middle. Alexiev on a two-on-two on two fast break. The shot and saved here by Swayman. Now off to Frederick again, right to Heinen. Heinen right there with the puck in, Reed chain. Swings it around. Shoots, saved by Lindgren. Almost went in the net, but that stayed out again. Oh, almost would have been a big trouble. If this something happened already, then that could be a big problem. You know, I really like that. Lindgren is doing really well. Just approximately a lot of a hard one taking over in between. It's a great amount of saves, but the coverage is not always what you're looking for. If you get that one in, possible enough to try to stop the puck in between. But you're going to need to get that one harder right in between. And McAvoy, the shot! That one wide off the mark, and it's now back again to Malenstein. Gives again to Alexiev, and now finding Van Myers. Van Myers trying to deliver it over in the shot, and saved by Swayman again. Past the midway mark of the period in the second, still no goal in the game. Now here's the take here. Another win puts up. He slaps down and it's McAvoy with the puck now finding the Myers. 9.35 left to go in the second period. Try to give off. The brush shot and a save puts in here by Lindgren. Now here's Ovechkin. 9.15 left to go in the second period. Lapierre shot and save puts it again by Swayman. McAvoy finding the brush and now he finds again in Zaka. Zaka try to pull it in. The pressure's out. Try to look for some help. Here's Ovechkin. He will try to give off to Molendo. Molendo now finds again a Lapierre. Lapierre right in toward the right of the way. Gives off to Ovechkin's shot. Good pass over, but the save puts in again for another one on Swayman. Julio Sky it inbound. Bruins are now on the attack. With eight minutes, the save puts in the other way by Lindgren. Battling the puck. Oh, that is going to take a lot of time, and I'm thinking we do have a penalty. Yes, it's done, because that's Charlie Coyle. He had that slash already called earlier at that point, and they definitely need second line for the whistle. He should be in the penalty box, and that is not how you see your big response out of it, because that happens to Charlie Coyle. He got him putting a little bit dirty over here, and then trying to get the puck into a rebound. Now they're ready for the power play. The Caps are an 0-1. Looking to see if they can get this time with the power play goal and get on board. Here's Melenstein. That puck has been drifted out as Wolverspoon will have it. And now, we'll never take it over here to get into Pertoretti. Shoots! Try to put it in there! Swayman almost got that one, lost the puck. 
but it stayed out of there. That's what happens now. They, they can't let that one get over it and try to like let them let the puck go in. That one's pretty close already, but this one is, is stayed out there for good. Now that Winnie Rizaka as Grazlik will fire the puck out. Now here's another take for Protoss. Protoss on his way down, trying to look for some more room. He gets to get a shot, and save puts up by Swayman. 7.07 left to go in the second period. Still a no score in the game. They need to get this goal, or it will be dropped dead in the second. Now here's another win here for the Capitals, and he finds Ovechkin. Ovechkin shot, and another big save by Swayman. How did he hold on to that? An unbelievable moment. One more time for Swayman. That one is going to pressure off the pad already. And this was not what you've always been saying because this was the closest call. He just made that one squeeze in there, trying to put protection. Like it's an egg here, like you're covering like a bird already. And then you want to protect it from, from the puck without getting, getting rid of it without anybody taking away. That's a great uh, look of it if you take over with the puck and then cover it up. Ovechkin lost that puck here. One minute left to remain in a, in a power play for the Capitals. Throwing a shot. Saved here by Swayman. Present. Gives off to Zaka. Now it's broken up. For us again to put ready. Put ready shot. Try to pick up a rebound. It's another big save by Swayman. Throwing a shot. Almost had it tipped in. Rebound it. That's been blocked out. Ovechkin now finds Carlson. Thunder clap it. Saved by Swayman. 6.03 left to go in the second period. Still not quitting. And no goals given here. Well, this is going to have to be a problem right now because you got to be really careful when you're when you are in defensive effort. you got to play hard in. Try not to get spooled up on the face mask. And it's stop made here by Swayman. Looks like he's ready to get back out there. And the Capitals end up at their power play possession as Lindgren will try to cover it up. You know, it's great enough that now because they're on an 0-2. They've been really like been, they're like fighting for the puck and a rebound. This one happens already and they were really been keeping it out of the pressure zone. They just do not want that one to be left alone at that, at that point. They can't just let that one get over it and they can't. And there's a the goal. Chris like Jack has gotten his first goal for the Bruins and they're on the board. Unfortunately, Charles Lindgren it has put up an error, and there, there it went. Because after that faceoff, it was happened to be clear enough. Because it came in there, but Charlie Lindgren it just put it in there, and that was just like, boom. That just went total the wrong way. And that one stayed out of it, and they couldn't get back into it. Whereas it's got that puck with the first goal of the night against the... Capitals in game three, and now here's Ovechkin. Ovechkin trying to work his way across. Oh, Ovechkin just put a revenge on McAvoy. He really wants to pay it off them again to revenge. And the Russ can't hold on with the puck as Jensen gives it over to Gendo Lapierre. Here's Lapierre's shot. Take his angle to tie it up. No, that's stopped again by Swayman. The Brass now finds McAvoy. 4.20 left to go in the second period. Just pass it off to Zaka. Zaka gets coupled up here and it's still out of the zone. And Lindgren will give it off to Milano. Here's Jensen back again to Lapierre. Lapierre swinging it, settling it in. Edmondson shot. Another pass saved here by the goaltender. Kiki has that one inbound. Find again to Frederick. 3-3 left to go in the second period as he makes another tumble down. Cordes come and hold on with the puck as Frederick now gives again to Geeky. Keeping the puck alive, battling it in. Cordes with the puck zone, finds McMichael. McMichael spins a road. Give to Manfa. Unable to make a connection here as Frederick will have that puck here back to the other way. Here's a take. Frederick now finds Schoenkirk. Move around, he scores! That's two in a row for the Bruins in the second period. They're now up ahead. Well, this is what happened now because Shane Cook just made that one, lifting it over weave to weave on the puck in the zone. Takes a little bit of time and he got that backhand and making the way. 
Now, you don't even try to mess that one up here because Shane Kirk has really made their way in now. It's a close one, and now you got to make sure you get this in and get it to a right timing. But that comes to a sudden lurch here for the goaltender of our ugly game. And it won't be happening again if it does happen to be once or twice. Now, Marshan will have that puck here with only 2.17 left to go in a second period. Here's again to Pasternak. Pasternak tried to roll it over and now give again to Coyle. Lost that puck as Sandin will have it over. Give again to Abi Kubo. Here's the pass to Malenstein. On the shot, saved by Swayman. We're nearing the 90 second mark in the second period. Still a 2 0 game, Boston. Now for the Boston win. Rubber Spoon got shangled up and now finally again to Pashanox. Here's another takeover here. Gives off to Marchand. It went stopped out. Sandine's got that puck here and now finally again over Sharbosa. One minute remaining in the second period. Try to look his way. Save another one by Swayman. Now Abi Kubel give again to Sandine. Shot saved here on Swayman. Carlson. Abi Kubo, he goes down after him. Coyle with the puck with a rebound. Here's the take. Old full pressure zone, trying to go with some shot. Locker shot, plus save here by Lindgren. We are almost at the end of the second period, but this one can't let that one lose again. Yeah, it sometimes happens now. And hey, they should never let that one get, get over this point. Because they need to make sure they get a power up to get in here. The win puts up on Lapeer, and now Edmondson will have it again to Jensen. Here's Milano. Couldn't find anybody, and that will end the second period. 2 0 is the score for Bruins. We're waiting for the third period, and we'll get back to you soon after this. We are back. Final period about to begin in Washington, D.C. And here we go. No goals for Caps, only two goals for Bruins. Now with my take here, and there's another goal! Oh boy, and Greslick is definitely uh, having a fun night. The Bruins are crushing out the Capitals. Oh, that's just nothing but I want to see. Matt Greslick already had just made a start. Are you kidding me? That's no way. That is definitely no way. If you were able to beat against the goaltender, because that one is really like in the rocket, rocket chance, that one takes it over for well, just only seconds. 14 seconds on, a, on the goal, and then you've already made that one in there. That is crazy. Yeah, it definitely is crazy already, but there's a lot of chance out there. They really want to make sure they can get that one here right farther, and then you know what happens? They were trying to get that goal right away. I mean, they were really like on a hot, hard shape again. They've been knocking it out. Now, here's another one again for Ovechkin. He will try to give it over. And Pasternak will have it. Try to battle for the puck. Here's Pasternak. He will try to get that one back in again. Pasternak gives to Marchand. Marchand went down and it's Carlson with the puck. LaPierre's got a piece of it. Try to take his own net. Saved again here by Swayman. Swayman. Can't find an open man. McAvoy gets again to Pasternak. Pasternak's on his roll way down towards the line. Shoots and saved here by Lindgren. He'll stop that buck here with just only 18 14 to go. Now for another face off coming in. It's still a 3 0 game. Boston's still up ahead looking for another goal. And that one stopped again by Lindgren. They really are look like they were really tired already. And they should not be like an investigator if something has happened. They should not that one be incredible enough. And they should not be like intending to get this one straight away. Bruins wins another face off press like and good catch save here by Lindgren. We're under 18 minutes for rain in the third period. Now they're ready to do this one again. Still a lot of time left in this period. It is still a 3-0 game. And this one keeps on coming. 
Carlson's got that puck here, trying to give it over. Finding Milano's shot. To go again, and that one stopped again. Up here with the puck. Bowling for a loose puck of the chain. Now finding again a McAvoy. Here's another takeover. That one stopped. Lapierre's got it now. This one stopped out. Breslin. Back again to McAvoy. Moves it over again. Try to look over pretty attacker. He goes down. Bowling for the loose puck of the chain as Coyle's got it now. The puck leaves his own. Try to look back again at McAvoy. McAvoy on his way down to attack it. In the range, finding Van Wyers. What a save by Lindgren. And it's still stalled in as they're ready to take another face-off coming. We got a couple games coming out here for tonight. Right now we have a later game here that we'll be prepping up. We'll be the Rangers versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. They're ready to get this thing underway and we'll find out what will go in for the part of the next one of the attacking range. You know, this offense is not going to let that happen with most of them. And I guess that they really are up to this challenge. There's no other way that you're gonna let that one happen because they're not gonna like to be they're not gonna be nice and ready, but you're gonna be a lot of takers if they're really been battling it off. They will never know how you can handle that and take that chance in time. It's gonna be a hard one to take, but let's see what they can do. Now he's still waiting for a Gresley. And the shots break blocked here. Now back again. Shot! And tip back in scores. Oh, but Bill Zaka got that one piece of the poke that one back in. And that one stayed out. You know, transition is not always impossible enough because that really has changed things up. But Bill Zaka just got that one passed and swing. After Van Myers, Van Zaka did this. He done that one here right in between. And this one just went right toward the back. He just pushes it, the puck, and then let it go in. It's not what they've always done, because that, that leaves them on. As you may already notice now that the, the fans are silent right now, it is now 4-0 Boston Bruins. And now here's another winning faceoff here as Edmonton, Edmondson will have it again to Portis. Portis off the shot, hit the goalpost outside. Portis shoots, trying to fuck it in there, but it's knocked out. Then minus with the puck. Now he's off to do it again. The pass to Cronus and now find Jensen. Jensen finds the man up. Shoots it out and the save puts it in for another look of swimming. Now he finds the pass to Zaka. Zaka gets wiped out. In between the pressuring board. Try to battle in between as Jensen's got it now again to Avi Kubel. Abby Kubo trying to look in the middle here. Non Stein shot saved by Swayman. Fouling for the loose puck of the chain. Zaka recovers it. Frederick looking his way over. In corner. And a shot. Oh, that one stayed out of here as Lindgren gets the number save. You're never going to let that happen because if this one really keeps it going in back. Don't just try to like, give up. Now the pass over again, Sharosa, and now Jensen brings the Caps team into Bruins territory. Here's the take. They're outside, and this is a great pass movement. And the shot, this one can't get in, this one stayed out. That was really hard one. We're never going to let that happen again, because they really are going to let that one score in again. There might be a lot of drives out there. Can't let that one go by. And the save put it in by by Lindgren. He goes down. Now that mid will have it over. Here's a take. Swayman takes the save. But you're ready. Hold on with the puck and he doesn't able to have that one in time. Marchand shot. Big save here by Lindgren and now getting to Pochoretti. Pochoretti will have it in. That puck takes it over as Coyle now give off to Marchand. Marchand, back to Pachadox. Here's a coil shot. That one way marked out. Here's another take for Protoss. Protoss on his way over. And that one's knocked out. Lorraine, 
Ray tried to give him over again. Now it's looking for the other side of the offensive zone to Coyle. That backhander for the blocker stop here. McMichael's got that puck. Alexiev laps it in with the left zone. That one stayed out. Now he gives it back to Michael. McMichael now find Manfa. Here's another take. Manfa shot. Block this stop eight here for another takeover. Alexiev now find Ramaya shot. Glove saved by Swayman. 9 or 9 left to go in the third period. They are still trying to get a goal right in the way. Well, you're never going to let that happen. You just gotta let this one score in between. They are trying to shoot. They're trying to let you try to avoid a defensive effort. But they can't let that one get away from it because they won't be letting it go away for as long as they have it possible on their set. This offense is not gonna let that one stay in as long as they get there. And this one is gonna stay out there at all the time. You're never gonna let that one go right between for the attack with Steel. Here's McMichael, he fires that puck out in the Burns territory. Boston now has it now. And here's a take from Ampha. Carlson, get to Sandine. Shoots! Left save by Swayman. Under eight minutes remaining in the third period. Still a 4-0 game for Boston. Now they're ready to do this one again. This is a pretty crucial game in between as they're still up ahead, shutting it down here in game three. Wormspoon now finds Van Midas. I'm never taking off that shot. up here and it's now replaced by Kemper. Kemper will take his own time. He has a couple of saves of that down. And now they're ready for another faceoff. The win for the Boston Bruins. Shannon Kirk gives to Van Midas. And off again. Sandine takes the puck away. Sandy, right in towards the wing, in the shot, trying to rebound it, but a Swayman takes it over. And that one ends it up here to go with another attacking zone. This one comes back again. While they're really like been a hard one to take, and it's not what you've always been looking at it, because that one is a pretty uh, hard press of sight. It looks like they're attacking that much. They really are picking up the pace here. They're gonna get that one going in between now. Now Milano will have a puck. Here's another take. The rebound. Back to Ovechkin. Ovechkin couldn't control the puck. Lapierre shoots and saved off by Swayman. But Myers with the puck with only 6-10 to go. They still haven't got a goal yet for the Capitals. Lapierre off to Carlson. And now again to Milano. Back to Lapierre. Lapierre trying to hold on to it now. Now it's another one to Boston Knox again to Shane Carr. Now this one stays back. Marchand shot and Save puts it in here by Kemper. Malenstein now fires that puck out of here out of the zone. Five minutes remaining in the third period. Overspoon now finds Coyle. Fans going to take a lot of disagreements here, and this one has been wrecked it out. And now one puts a save here by Kemper. Shot! What a take here by Kemper. Now that's what happens now that Darcy Kemper has been made, making his way in motion offense. It's never going to be easy to get this one straight. Here's the call now as I give it over to Fan. All right, I guess that Dana Postonox has been doing really well with this night, but that is all it turned out to be, because after that, then uh, Wilson is already in the uh, in the medical attention room, room. It may not be what you're looking at, it because that ends it up here for this game. It's too hard to get it through. So that will have to end up here for game three, and we'll have to see if there's a win or go home for the Capitals. If they don't, then that is it. Tom Wilson will be wishing for a speedy recovery, but David Poshnax, he's been doing really well with his offense control. Now McAvoy will have it over in the offense. He gives it over, tries to smack it down, and now it's time to Avi Kubo. Glove saved by Swayman. 336 left to go in the third period. Still no goal for the Capitals. Now to do another one again. Still a 4-0 game. 
As they wait out, Edmondson blocks a shot. Mount Stein, great stop by Swayman. Now that Swayman, what they all say for it's like a, it's a great pressurizing. Just gotta keep that going in. Oh, what a swipe over here, and this one now goes back again to Melenstein. Melenstein. Move right toward Mel to shoot. The saved again by Swayman. No goal still made here for the Capitals, but they still need to get back onto it. Now the Boston Bruins will take their win. 2.45 left to go. Peskin in. Sorry, can't find in. Oh, he went to and stumbled down already. Big a low moment. Mampa. Right toward a shot. Trying to pick up a rebound. No pressure taken out of Anthony Mampa. Another big save here by Swayman. They're trying to get this puck down. Here's Perdice. Rebound the puck. Shen lost that one. And now it's back again to McAvoy. McAvoy trying to battle the puck in. And that ends the full pressure for the Capitals. Now Frederick finds Kiki. Kiki back again to Frederick. Shot! Good blocker stop made here by Kumpo. That's what happens now. This one keeps on coming down and it's going to be the end of it. Final period, final minute in the period left as Frodo's needs to get this goal. That straightaway won't cut in and botch him. Ben Myers with the puck. Trying to look like he's going to take it over. This one stops again. It's Jensen. Now got to Protoss. Protoss. Shoot! Well, saved by Swayman. And that is going to have to end it off here because there is no time left for the Capitals to score. That's what they've all been doing. They're really trying to keep that out of here. And it looks like it has been a disappointment. Loray will give off to Van Myers with the puck, not controlling it. Give off to Loray. Loray's in it. Shoots it. Saves it off by Kemper. And their team has been silent already. No goals for the Capitals. Only four for Boston Bruins. And that's going to end it off here with game three. The Bruins destroyed the Caps three games in a row. But there might be one more left if they can win the last one and before the Caps are eliminated. Well, there's one way, and they've got to make sure. Keep that one puck alive. Do what you can. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with me, Lightbulb, along with Ballpoint Pen, Cool Beast, and Fan. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for watching. All right, thank you so much. A big disappointment here. We start with three stars. Pavel Zaka with a goal and five hits. Ultimately, turned out like it was bigger than ever to pick a rebound in. Then the second star. For the Bruins on the other side of it, still the same as Matt Gresick has two goals and four hits. And your first star player, I'll say now, that Swayman dug it all. He made a lot of a beauty saves in between as this one got 62. That was excellent. He has been on fire already, and he's been knocking it in there, beating Lindgren, and then there will be the end of it if they don't win it all. Let's have a look at the total statistics. 62 over 52 for the total shots and goal for Washington Gaps, and it was 55 over 46 for Boston Bruins on a time on a, on a hit, and time on attack was 640 over 616 for Washington Capitals. 92 over 91 for Boston, 28 for the face-off wins in between for the Boston, and then it was four minute penalty kill for Boston, two in a row, and it was only one penalty kill for the Washington Capitals. No power play goal as their power play minute was four minutes and two minutes in between. So that is about to wrap things up here for the two part of the games, and we'll see you all later on the other side, and we'll find out pretty soon enough if there is another takeover in between, and I'll be back soon in the pregame show, but I'll find someone else who can take the cover. Me, along with Silver Spoon, I am Paintbrush. This has been a presentation of the first two games of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Peace out, folks, for a while, as the postseason of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports Style. See you later, everyone, for the next two games. Rangers and the Lightning Bolts, and... 
the Vegas Golden Knights against the Oilers. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.